Okay everyone, welcome back to the Empire of Hurt. It is now the 23rd of January and it's been made aware to me that the regulations for the event were made available uh, on the website. It's a weird way to find out, I know. Would have rather more efficient way, but uh, you know, we've got it. So I printed them out. It's time to see if we can ply. So now the intake sorted, all the uh, plenums and stuff, just taking the throttle bodies off for cleaning now. We've installed the rear screen. So the idea with this, it's a bit of a, a flash guard. Uh, if anything were to actually physically go wrong back here, then we'll kind of have a bit of, bit of protection here. And you'll notice these, these two holes, these are for the intakes. So the idea with these is to get this one here we feed that in there and then we get this one here and feed that all the way in there and we'll have individual ducts to the pod filters and they'll get ram air from in there now you may notice that uh, some of the panels are on so yeah it's uh looking pretty crazy at the moment We've uh, even got some flames. People are wondering what we used. Then I'll show you when it's in the sunshine because it's actually red glitter and copper spray. Who would have thought it looked so good on a race car? <laughs> We're here at ABS Midland because they're like freaking awesome dudes and they've uh, allowed us to hire their fancy alignment machine which is uh, a little bit of an upgrade more than our piece of string in the shed. So uh, we're just setting up the tuba. Uh, there's no real format for this thing. <laughs> Harry loves it. Um, so <laughs> we've sort of like plugged in some numbers and just from guesstimates we're just going to set uh, what we think is right and then uh, sort of do a few laps and uh, we'll f figure out if it's good or not but at least then we'll have a baseline to go from. I'm also using a uh, microphone because the audio in here freaking sucks. Um, so yeah once we uh, finish the alignment we can uh, sort of get it on the road and, and get a feel for it. I have driven it in its uh, alignment before and uh, yeah, it was not good. <laughs> so yeah, when, uh, when Harry's actually finished doing some actual work for once, then we can uh, sort of take it out. So, from our piece of string, this is where we were. Pretty far out of the freaking ballpark. We had uh, almost 23 mil of front toe out, and uh, <laughs> a lot of toe in the middle. We had, uh, camber was not too bad. And uh, in the rear, we had um, a positive two and a half mil of toe, which wasn't too bad. Um, the camber was like pretty good, 
and um, the caster light, uh, I mean thrust angle is pretty good. So this is what we've adjusted it to. These are just uh, sort of numbers we've literally pulled out of our rear ends, what we thought it should be. So we've, we've set the, the front caster like pretty, pretty aggressive and the rear caster like pretty neutral and just giving it a tiny bit of toe out at the front and uh, a tiny bit at, at, the, at the rear uh, inwards because when it uh, squats, it like really like toes out. So when it squats, it becomes neutral. So we tested that by basically jumping up and down on the car um, while it's on the machine because then you can see like the, the range of movement. So yeah, this is pretty much our alignment as we, uh, as we have it. So we're gonna see how that goes. And at least then, like I said, we've got a baseline and we can sort of set up uh, some sticks and uh, poke it with another stick and uh, go from there when we actually do some adjustment. But I dare say it should drive straight now instead of scaring the poop out of me. Um, well, maybe it'll do both. <laughs> Radio.